Black Hebrew Israelites versus Palestinian supporters in Chicago. You know, a few weeks ago, some of you saw some video of the protests in Chicago. You had the Palestinian and their supporters were protesting against the killings by the apartheid Israeli regime in Gaza. They have killed right now over 12,000 Palestinian men, women, and children, and almost half of those being children in Gaza. The American government has supported this. They have backed this. Most European governments have supported and backed this as well. The U.S. government has provided weaponry for this. Countries such as Colombia, South Africa, and Turkey, almost with Turkey, have called for the International Criminal Court to file charges against the apartheid regime in Israel for these mass killings in Gaza. Now, what we have today, and I'm going to uh, show you some of the video in a moment, we have today in Chicago, Now, this happened a few weeks ago, where you have the black Hebrew Israelites. And the, the, this group is primarily led by Bishop Nathaniel. And Bishop Nathaniel, he has some teachings that are way off base. They are not the right things to teach. And some of it simply is not even true. Some of it is spoken of as if the time frame is right now. And some of that is not the case. Now, maybe in the future, I will deal with the details of that. But these misteachings, they mislead, misguide so many black Hebrew Israelites in this country. So, take a look and listen to this. So you've seen some of the video, and I'm going to show you a little bit more of that in a moment. But let me say this. When you read in the Bible, the book of Hebrew, the eighth chapter, you find out that it is not about the land. No, no, it is not about the land. Netanyahu, the Ashkenazim, they're making it about the land. They say, well, we've been here for uh, 2,000 year years ago. We were here. Well, Netanyahu is lying. They never were there. And that is one of the differences between some of the black Hebrew Israelites doctrine and Netanyahu and his people's doctrine. At least thousands of years ago, you did have some black folks there. You did. Okay. The original settlers in that area of the world were black people. It was originally called the land of Canaan. Yes. So you all know the story of Moses and the Ten Commandments. He go up into the mountain, Mount Sinai, and then he comes down with the tablets and inscribed upon the stones are 10 commandments. Among the 10 is don't covet, don't take, don't possess that which belongs to your neighbor. That's one of the 10 commandments. Well, if you take someone else's land and it doesn't belong to you, you're violating the commandments. The other commandment, another one is you should not kill. Well, so you had some of the ancient black prophets, writers, who said, when you go into the land, kill everybody, kill the children, kill the animals, kill everything. God said it. Well, that violates the Ten Commandments. So who really said that? Well, T. West, it's written in the Bible. It was written in, listen. Use your senses, your common senses. You've got a, uh, a rule book, the Ten Commandments, to follow. Did your ancestors follow them? Hell no. So you have the Hebrew Israelites protesting, causing trouble against Palestinians and their supporters. Now, the Palestinians and their supporters they have every reason to be out there protesting because 
Hmm. You've got thousands and thousands of people who are being murdered by the Zionist regime. And then here it is, you have the Hebrew Israelites. Some of them, they come out as a counter protest. Now, under Bishop Nathaniel, the Hebrew Israelites in this respect are no different than Netanyahu and his people. Bishop Nathaniel and his group, they believe that the land is theirs. They believe that it is about the land. And that's where they're wrong at. That's where they error at. It is not about the land anymore. The land was conditional. If you, now this is biblical, this is the Torah. If you do this, then I will give you this. I will do this. I will do that. But, you broke the commandments, and you're still breaking them. You're still doing it. You're still misteaching the people. You're like the sons of Samuel, Samuel the high priest. You're like his sons, leading captive silly women for sex. Okay, now, so... In this case, leading captive silly men on behalf of the Zionists. Because Nathaniel and his group, they're Zionists too. And Zionists is an evil ideology. There's nothing good about Zionism. The father of Zionism is Theodore Herzl. And Theodore Herzl was, a, was an atheist. All right, listen to a little bit more of this uh, video. Listen and look. All right, now, as I said, the Palestinians and their supporters in Chicago, they had every right to be out there protesting. People are dying, being murdered, being slaughtered by the Americans and the Israelis. So, what are you Negroes doing out there protesting against that? What? That is corrupt. That is not good. Not good at all. You know, the Palestinians have suffered for generations in many respects, just like black folks have suffered under the same group of people. Netanyahu's people were the ones who codified the reason for enslaving black people, the reason for taking everything that black people own. It was codified by Rabbi Rashi, Solomon ben Isaac of Belgium. Okay? Just like King Leopold, you know, who slaughtered millions of Africans, slaughtered way more Africans than were killed during the Nazi era. And that situation was planned. Theodore Herzl said, we are not going to get what we want until the pogroms, pogroms meaning mass killings. They they orchestrated that themselves in order to achieve what they have achieved today. He had the support of the wealthy Rothschild banking clan. And then we have what's called the transfer agreement. You see, I talk about things that you don't hear anybody else talk about. Yes, you have the transfer agreement. The transfer agree agreement, what was that? Well, during the Nazi Germany era, era of time, the 1940s, the transfer agreement, agreement entailed an agreement between the Zionists and the bankers and the Nazis to provide a one-way ticket to the Ashkenazim, to Palestine, to provide to them a tractor, to provide to them fertilizer, to provide to them weapons and ammunition. The same as they're doing right now. The biggest trade partner of Nazi Israel is Germany. 
the largest white ethnic group in the United States are Germanic. Hmm. You see, is Bishop Nathaniel, is he teaching you any of this? Mm -mm. No. Here you're going to learn the whole truth.